what happens if we follow Bhagavad Gita? So, what happens? So, when we get transcendental knowledge, uh, we will be able to see uh, the world around us in a different way. The persons who are uh, surrounding us, uh, we can see a different way. And uh, the happenings happens to us, we can see a different way. So, we can react a different way. Before that, I reacted uh, that um, in thinking that I am in the center. How is it possible that that person doesn't accept that I'm uh, better than him? I have to show him. Oh, and if I cannot show, then I will beat him or I don't know, I will do something. So this is the fight. After reading Bhagavad Gita, one can understand that it's not necessarily to be the best. Why? For what? There is no goal to be a best. Krishna is the best anyway. <laughs> so that, that, uh, that uh, how to say, that place is already busy. So then to be a best is, is not a happy thing. Fight always to fear who will come who will want to take my position, like Lord Indra is, is, is always in uh, anxiety that who will take my uh, position and he has to send many apsaras to di divert the saints and this and that. Ooh. Many anxiety. Why? So when we read Bhagavad Gita, we understand that what is the real purpose of our life. It's like a relief. When you... Um, and when you take a sack of 50 kilos in your shoulder and you take it for two miles and after two miles it's very very heavy heavy and then it said okay now you can you can put it down Whew. yeah so like that so when i can um, put my life to the lotus feet of the lord it's a relief. Oh, okay, so easy now. So that will happen when somebody reads the Bhagavad Gita. He will feel or she will feel like that. Like, okay, now it's much more easier. This is the process of Sharanagati.